Yeah. Everyone loves our theme songs, right? You love our theme songs. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of the Soldiers of Fortune video podcast. Here with a bearded Davy Stone and a somewhat clean-shaven Matty P. You did only shave like three hours ago, that's why. Yeah, it's... it was about 15 minutes ago that I shaved my face and uh, things are growing in nicely. It's actually a problem. It's funny, I make fun of it, but oh, really? it's... Uh, yeah, because when I was reporting, even on the news, I would have to... One of the things that people told me was, make sure you shave closer to your shift so that you don't look like a, you know Bear grills by the time you go on TV. Gotcha. I don't have that problem. This, I haven't touched in about three months. It doesn't look like anybody's going to touch that. You should yeah. probably not touch that. <laughs> shaved my face, got cleaned up a little bit, got a haircut. Feeling good. Looking good. Thanks, pal. Other than you guys that see me all the time... For people that are new, it can be kind of off-putting. Worked with these people now on uh, some production stuff during the afternoons. I showed up last week, like the day after I shaved my face. Parked the car and was like waving to this girl that works with me across the way. And she like looked at me like I was going to murder her. <laughs> was, like, who is this guy? I'm just waving. I have no idea. I'm like, am I supposed to park here? Do we park here? Is this where we put the cars? No idea that I look like a completely different person. I was like, okay, and anyway, I parked my car and I walk up to her. They're like, oh my God, that's Matt. Yeah, I'm me. Hello. Yeah. They're like, oh, we didn't recognize you without your beard. And you, I wasn't wearing a hat that day, which I guess I was wearing like a backwards hat or something. I don't see the beard as your defining characteristic. Like, you usually have one, but I don't oh, see that as something that I... I've known you before you had a, you know, perpetual 9 o'clock shadow. <laughs> nine o'clock, like a 9.30 shadow that we got going on. Yeah. These, I don't know. I can't really see right now without these. Right. You look a lot better, though. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Leave them off. Leave them off. It's, it's something you don't think about, but it is. I have to kind of shave all the time if I want to have that a clean shaven. It's a burden. Like. It's hard to be me. Not really. I'm sorry about that's that. about the hardest part, actually. Harder than chemo? <laughs> well, that sucked, but yeah. <laughs> but that's done. It took care of the shaving, though. It was kind it of did. Like, it killed did. two birds with one stone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you chained into your Falcon shirt because you're all damn proud of your little Falcons team, so why don't you talk about your, uh, your great. Your great football weekend there, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Football Guy, with your with your team that won football. <laughs> team win? They yeah, did. Okay. They did. Yeah. They did. In they their did. brand new swanky little stadium. Billion and a half yep. dollar stadium. Yep. It was a Monday night game, too, which is good, because everyone could have Chick-fil-A. Yeah, that is the huge controversy there with the new stadium. <laughs> I, I don't understand why you would put a big-ass Chick-fil-A location in your stadium when for, like, half of the year... It's seeing heavy traffic, usually on Sundays. Right. And Chick-fil-A and open on Sundays. And not to mention, everything else in the stadium is super cheap. They've made all the prices really low yeah, to, to keep people coming, which is awesome. Because he's got all that Home Depot money. Did you know Arthur Blank was like one of the founders of Home Depot? He's the despot like of the Depot? Yeah, yeah he's saying? the Depot despot. Well, I made that up just now. That was good. That impressed? was good. He looks yeah. like a cartoon villain. Yeah. Looks like Dick Dastardly and one of the Corleones had a baby. Monday through Saturday. I, ha I hire mooks to kill other mooks. But then on Sunday, I watch my boys play football. It's a good time. It's a good family it's time. It's good family time. Your team won, so that's great. None of my teams won. That's awesome. Fantastic. So, what updates do we have to our dates? Date update. Date update. Well, I mean, if we're going to go with date updates, when was the last date you went on? <laughs> that's not an update at all, man. <laughs> no news right. is no news there. Uh, okay, Strange, so... there's nothing on my script here. Okay, well, uh, back well, to you. <laughs> September 23rd, we're still on for O'Keefe's, but that's... No longer the grand reopening night. Right. They have graciously allowed us to kind of, since they moved their dates around a couple of times to, because of the hurricanes. It felt bad for us not knowing what we were going to do yeah. when. So we're going to play there the 23rd, but we're going to start at 10, 1030 and go till, you know, 130-ish close. And so that'd be a fun time. O'Keefe's an awesome place. So that is this Saturday, still have, right? That is this Saturday. That's, this Saturday. that's a few days from whenever we get around posting this video. It's this Saturday. Uh, so come out and check us out there. They still have redone the whole place and it looks amazing inside. Yep, TVs yep. galore. Come, It'll be be Saturday, so come watch some football as well. Great food College. and good music. You know, can't beat it, really, That's in right. football. Playing there again October 7th after the live art. Damn it. I never so get close. this right. I got it right last time. You were really close. Live Oak Arts and Music Fest yes. in Conway. We're doing that October 7th. We have the 1 o'clock slot. We'll be playing for about 45, 45 minutes, minutes, minutes yeah. or so on the courthouse steps. Going to be super cool. Support your local businesses. Check out vendors and, and artisans and yeah. whatnot. 
And, and uh, then we'll head right back down the road. That's right. We're going to head back down to O'Keefe's and play. That will be the official that's grand reopening. That's the official opening. grand reopening October of O'Keefe's. October 7th that night. It's so October we'll be doing 7th. 6 to 10 again. We'll be playing at 6 to 10 slot. 6 to 10. Uh, I know throwing peanuts and monkeys are still slated to play. Somebody stole a bunch of their equipment, man. Like out of the back of their trailer. Got a couple of amps and stuff. Yeah. Don't be dicks and steal musicians' yeah. music equipment. Lame. We're going to get you. We're gonna can't get do you. music without the equipment. Yeah, and that means we can't play with our pals. If That that sucks. Hopefully they get uh, take care of that and, and, and are able to play with us because they're awesome and lots of fun. Right, let's really quick run down the, the House of Blues stage. We have House Blues, the House of Blues we're going to do uh, in the Crossroads Cafe yeah. restaurant. And also, let's who else we can play with because we awesome. know that too. Yeah, yeah on October 15th. Yeah. Uh, will be uh, our friend Amanda. Love her. She's so cute. She's pretty. A little country girl. Mm -hmm. If you like country music, yeah, she's really good. Amanda, she's you gotta go see her. Uh, Brian, of course. Brian. Brian. <laughs> Hopefully he'll play Unwrap My Smile. I believe he probably so will. That's really we won't good. let him off the stage later. Right. And then us. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's there to acoustic duo. That's right. Uh, October 29th. Dan Barnhart. Okay. Um, Randall Hill. Yep. Uh, Richie Schroyer. Yep. I don't know Richie. Do you know Richie? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to be like, mm, nope. Uh, and us mm -hmm. also. And us. And November 12th, AJ Round. Amanda again. Amanda. Yeah. Phil Whitaker. Yes. And us. Good stuff. That's a good lineup too. Mm -hmm. They all seem to be coming out together. It'd be pretty cool events. So uh, those will be Sundays during October and November. Um, but we'll have that listed on our page as well. 15th, the 29th, and the 12th. Yeah. Uh, make sure to be, keep you guys in the in the know as far as when we're playing around and stuff and all your chances to come see us and whatnot. But uh, Oh, did I ever tell what? you about the time I went to Canada? You just scared the crap out of me first off. <laughs> like, you know I'm poor, <laughs> right? Yes. So, obviously, I had to drive to Canada and stay in, um, as Prince Akeem of Zamunda put it, mega accommodations. <laughs> right? So this is the rough part of town, right? In Canada. Thought I'd go for a walk just to, you know, absorb some of the local flavor, as I like to call it. Yeah. And how I go does into this. Canada taste. It's the word for this part. Mapley. Okay. I don't know. So I went into this little corner shop, right? Had all these like T-shirts with fun sayings on them and stuff. Sure. I found these things. I I, I didn't get them, because like I said, I'm broke. I don't have souvenir money. Right. But um, they're called brass knuckles. <laughs> okay. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. No, 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 I know How what you're know thinking. That they're pronounced that way? I know what you're thinking. Brass knuckles. They're kind of like brass knuckles, but they're Canadian brass knuckles. Difference mm -hmm. is, they say, I'm sorry across the knuckles when you punch somebody. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's really easy from the beginning to tell exactly what that joke's about. Wow. Did I, did I tell you about um, the car accident I recently got into? No. Yeah, yeah, minor, minor car accident. Nobody was injured except the other guy. I dragged him out of the car and beat his ass. Um, but that's beside the point. Uh, at the body shop, the guy, you know, looked over the damage. He said, you know, it was light hit, not not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of damage. You are gonna need a new fender. It'll cost you about six hundred bucks. Of course, I said, fuck that. I'll get another Seagull. It was only four fifty. Sounds better than the fender anyway. That was a guitar joke. That was a guitar joke. It's a I'm guitar joke. Yeah. I don't think everybody else is, but that's funny. It's Trust a guitar me. joke. It's funny. So speaking of guitar jokes, would you like to play a song? Yes, because anytime I play something on the guitar, it's a fucking joke. <laughs> Yeah. I awoke only to find my lungs empty through the night. So it seems I'm not breathing. Now my Of my mind, could it be the 